let's rewind our clocks back. Today is 21st of April 2019. So we are commemorating the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. People are gathering to perform masses and offer the brain to celebrate Easter Sunday. But little did they know what they were about to face. Three churches, three hotels were targeted by the Islamist terrorists. Later on the day, two housing complexes were also exploded. St. Anthony's Shrine of Colombo, St. Sebastian's Church of Negumbo and Sion Church of Bariklo felt the wrath of evil. The incompetence and the ignorance of the prevailing government made 250 people to lose their lives and leaving more than 500 injured. Sad day for all of us. I wish to therefore express my deepest sorrow and sympathy to all those innocent families that have lost someone and also to those who have been injured and rendered destitute. I would like to call upon all to pray that all those who are injured may be healed soon and that all these families who have lost someone may be consoled. The churches were soon rebuilt with the help of the three armed forces, but the memories of the attacks were allowed to remain so that people did not forget what had happened on the 21st of April. The pain and the suffering are immeasurable. The physical wounds may heal, but the ones in our hearts won't easily fade away. Uh, the 21st of April 2019, Easter Sunday, uh, is a day that we will never forget throughout our entire lives. Uh, though it's now been one year since this tragic and gruesome event took place, as Catholics, the memories and experiences we witness of the pain, suffering and loss suffered by our people still runs fresh in our minds. As a nation, we had already witnessed the innocent bloodshed and sufferings of a 30-year-old civil war by this time. However, the Easter Sunday attacks was an unprecedented tragedy which unveiled our eyes. We were shocked with the horror to learn that people would use their God-given free will to the extent of harming and destroying innocent lives in the name of religion. The Catholic Church of Sri Lanka has led from the forefront in the missions of reconciliation, spiritual upliftment, rehabilitation and seeking justice for all the victims of these attacks. Uh, the one concern that they all voice out together that whoever was responsible for orchestrating and carrying out these attacks be revealed. Uh, in this fundamental rights case, uh, the Archbishop of Colombo expressed these concerns of the victims and the Christian faithful and also went on to strongly express the concern of all the citizens of this nation with regards to the serious failures and inaction on the part of the state. All our prayers shall continue to be with all the victims and their families in a special way today. We mourned our dead, remember the attack. But should we not forget the people who sacrificed their lives? This devastating blast took place at the high point of the Christian calendar, the moment when believers celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people who lost their loved ones. I trust that the government of Sri Lanka soon will find the people behind this attack will take an action according to the law. I invite you all to pray for all the people who lost someone they cared about for the people still suffering because of the dreadful event. May their suffering in and pray so that their lives are filled with love. God knows the conscience of one man and they know that they have failed their job and the country. God took them to him so the rest of his children may live in peace. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. The plans to prosper you and not to harm you. The plans to give you hope and a future. And on this Memorial Day, let us all light a candle for those who have fallen under the hands of God. May they rest in peace and may their names be rejoiced in heaven. May the victimized be cured and their life be filled with love and kindness.